first ripple factors first i will discuss a uh, full wave rectifier with series inductor filter all of you know that why uh, the name came as series inductor filter any one of you please respond why the name came as series inductor filter inductor is connected in series with roll resistance yes inductor is used as a filtering component and inductor is connected in series with the load resistance that's why the name came as series inductor filter full wave rectifier with series inductor filter so first i am drawing a full wave rectifier uh, let us consider here we will use a center tap transformer uh, let us consider it is my full wave rectifier here i am giving a yes signal from the black point a full wave rectifier has center tap transformer and uh, Uh, in full wave rectifier we will use a two diodes let us consider it is a diode d1 and it is a diode d2 in this we will use a two diodes and these two are connected together and here we will take a output so here we have a, a resistance load resistance now here uh, full wave rectifier with series inductor filter so inductor is connected in series with the resistance so it is a l and it is a r l it is a d1 and d2 it is a circuit diagram of a full wave rectifier with series inductor filter all of you know the uh, output waveform of a full wave rectifier uh, let us consider what is the difference between the output waveform of a full wave rectifier and of a rectifier output wave form la difference enta ma full wave rectifier ki off wave rectifier ki in off wave rectifier one is half wave la yes in off wave rectifier only one off cycle is converted into the positive uh, wave form whereas in full wave rectifier both positive and negative off cycles are also converted into the uh, uh, positive wave form so here Uh, let us consider it is voltage or current whatever it may be uh, current and it is a time t so uh, it is a full wave rectifier output without filter if i am using a series inductor filter the output waveform becomes if i am using a series inductor filter like a of a rectifier only then our series inductor filter is connected we are getting a output waveform like this it is a output waveform of a full wave rectifier with series inductor filter and uh, the equation for this uh, one is the equation for that one is a uh, i am writing a current equation i is equal to 2 im by pi minus 4 im by pi sigma here a uh, k let us consider k is a even number and the formula is cos k omega t by k minus 1 into k plus 1 k minus 1 into k plus 1 so it is a, a equation for output waveform of a full wave rectifier with filter now i can write it as a 2 im by pi and uh, if i am replacing k with even numbers uh, first i will replace k with a 2 the first even number is a 2 so first i am replacing k with a 2 if i am replacing k with a 2 
what is the equation becomes 4 i m by pi into cos k omega t means in place of a k i will write it cos 2 omega t by 2 minus 1 into 2 plus 1 2 minus 1 1 into 2 plus 1 uh, 2 so finally i am uh, getting uh, sorry 2 plus 1 3 2 minus 1 1 2 plus 1 3 3 into 1 means here i will get a 3 so uh, next if i am replacing a next even number 4 uh, in place of a k, if I am replacing a even number 4, then the equation becomes 4 i m by pi into cos 4 omega t by cos 4 omega t by uh, k minus 1 means 4 minus 1, 3 k plus min means 4 plus 1, 5 3 into 5 means it is of 50. So, so on, it is my equation. Uh, so, uh, now I want to find the ripple factor. Ripple factor, we can write it as a AC component by DC component. And it is also written as IAC by IDC. VAC by VDC or IAC by IDC. Uh, in this uh, output equation, what is the DC value? It is my output equation. What is the DC value in this output equation? 2IM by pi. Yes, DC means it is a constant value. Uh, other than this, all are having a coefficient with uh, cosine or sine. So, if is there any co coefficient with cosine or sine, it is a AC waveform. So, only uh, DC waveform is, it is the only DC waveform. So, uh, what is a, a 2 I m by pi, only the DC waveform. So, uh, I am getting I DC equal to i d c equal to 2 i m by pi and it is also written as 2 v m by pi into r i d c equal to 2 i m by pi and it is also written as 2 v m by pi into r now this all are ac components how i will find a net ac component in a multiple ac components How I will find a net AC component in a multiple AC components? I AC kawal anko nama. Okwela man ke oka three components onna anko nama. I RMS one square plus I RMS two square plus I RMS three square. Uh, here uh, we have a three AC components are there. If we have a three AC components there, then we can find a net AC component as. I AC equal to I RMS 1 square plus I RMS 2 square plus I RMS 3 square all uh, root over. So uh, in this way, we will find actually we will find an AC component. And uh, we have a uh, here we have a AC component, so a lot of AC components with a higher coefficient. So I am taking uh, for simplifying our uh, derivation. So I am taking uh, only one AC component. I am neglecting remaining all AC components. So I am considering only one AC component, which is, uh, uh, I am considering only one AC component is here. So, how I will find IRMS or, uh, for any sine solar signal? What is the formula for IRMS or IAC? IRMS and IAC and not in. IAC or IRMS, IM by? root 2. In this way, we will find a IRMS value of a, a any AC component. What is the maximum value here? What is the maximum value in this equation? 4 IM by 3 pi. Yes, whatever may be the coefficient of cosine or sine. Cosine sine ka kunda coefficient e dundo adhi man ki maximum value out of them. So, I am considering only uh, manak derivation is ga avadan ki I am considering only one AC component. You work AC components ne consider this container. So here the IM value is 4 IM by 3 pi and IAC value becomes 4 uh, IM by 3 pi into root 2. So here I got a IAC value as here I am writing IAC value which is a IM I have IM 4 IM by 3 pi on them. It is a IM value for IM by 3 pi and IM by root 2. 
for finding a i as we have formula i m by root 2 4 i m by 3 5 and uh, here i want to write in terms of uh, uh, v so here i am writing this 4 by 3 root 2 pi and i m can be written as v m by r l plus j omega l Uh, but here in place of a omega we have a 2 omega in place of a omega we have a 2 omega that's why here i can write it as a uh, actually it is a uh, we are writing rl plus j omega in place of omega here we have a 2 omega so i can write here rl plus j 2 omega l and if uh, we are finding a magnitude of this one uh, how we will find a magnitude of this one means 4 vm by 3 root pi into rl square plus uh, 4 omega square l square root of we will find r plus j omega l and x plus uh, j y n on that corner how we will find a magnitude for this one is root over x square plus y square in place of x we have a rl in place of a y we have two omega so r square plus four uh, omega l square and here uh, by comparing it to omega l we can neglect rl value omega l is much much greater than rl so by comparing it to omega l we can neglect uh, rl value so So what is our equation? If we are neglecting R L value, what is our equation? Here I am getting 4 V M 3 root pi into uh, 4 omega square L square root over means uh, 4 omega square L square root over means it is uh, 2 omega L. So I am getting here equation as 4 V M by uh, 4 means I can write it as a 2 2 So 2 vm by it is equal to 2 vm by 2 2 to the rational 2 vm by 3 root 2 pi omega. It is a equation. I got it for I S. And now I want to find the ripple factor value. Ma, if you do Lanka Ashok, our join our time and that is number 11:20. 11 class I tell 11:20 question allow to the So I got a, a equation for I S E S two V M by three root two pi omega L, and now I want to find the ripple factor value. It is a E S E component by D C component. So here I got I S E S two V M by three root two pi omega L by D C value two V M by pi R L. So here, two uh, vm, two vm gets cancelled. Pi pi cancel out of them. So finally, I got the equation as. Uh, finally, I got the equation as R L by three root two omega L. So what is the value of a three one by three root two? Anyone please uh, find it by using a calculator. One by three root two. One by three root two value five. Zero point two three. Yes, it is a zero point two three five, right? So zero point two three five R L by omega. So it is a ripple factor equation for full wave rectifier with series inductor filter. Zero point two two three five R L by omega. So it is my ripple factor equation for. Full wave rectifier with in the 